Hey you guys, it's Ruben Rex. So today I'm very excited because we have the selection. Little, 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 little. When are you going to sponsor Ruben React? So uh, <laughs> uh, we have the selection for. Uh, oh, uh, Greg, my editor, you still have to cut the part for Avion. Avion. Uh, because in some videos. And for Sebastian Chaval. I made such good um, sponsors. Uh, in my two last videos, which were, uh, what was it? Um, well, check out my videos. It was about Eurovision, uh, Georgia, France, and also uh, my reaction to uh, Offenbach. That's where I have those uh, <laughs> very funny uh, moments where I spray a lot of uh, stuff on my beard. <laughs> yeah, it's epic. Go and watch it. Even if the video is a bit longer, you're going to have fun. So this is a selection for Benidorm Fest. 2022, which is epic because Benidorm, I love it. My, uh, I have some family there. I know a lot of Spanish people and all the Spanish people who are watching that I know that are friends of mine. Hello. Hola. And uh, this is going to be uh, the start where it's going to present the songs. So it's going to be only the songs uh, and the videos, I guess, or the, sorry, the internal selection process with the, with the battle and everything and the, and the performances will be, I guess, next week, I hope. 14 canciones, 14 propuestas que van a luchar en Benidorm. Tan solo una songs. llegará a Turín. Is gonna go, which one is going to go to Turin? Ooh, this one sounds very Spanish. It sounds even a bit Tano. Okay. What Okay. Okay, that one has something because it has a. Ta -da -ta -da 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 -da. Uh, usually, they say that Spain does best when they keep to the traditional. Like, uh, I made a reaction to Rolf Sanchez, which uh, I upload before this video. So, check that out if you want to know what Spain should send to Eurovision because that's the kind of sound they should send. Really, check it out. And. Um, this uh, song reminds me uh, a bit of like South of Spain. So yeah, very nice. I also heard some of my French, French, French and Spanish French uh, told me that this song uh, is very good. Secreto de Agua. Agua, I guess it's water. Aqua, it's in Italian. Secret of water, I guess. Okay. And I watched the interview with her uh, and she has a really good like uh, flamenco voice and in the in this interview also she she sings in the end Every, everybody sings a little part but her she has a great great voice like amazing uh, so uh, yeah I think she has a big chance and I think the first two the first uh, two ladies also have a big chance then also you have Chanel which uh, I heard a Spanish friend of mine told me it's his favorite. So, because I did some research before, because I, I'm like uh, very excited about Spain and always about their either selection process, because I heard it's very good this time. So, uh, this is Chanel. Yeah, I can understand. I think this one has a big chance to win. Really. I remember that uh, uh, Destination Eurovision in France was always so good that my Spanish friends were always saying, we are jealous, we want the same. And I guess this year they finally managed to make the same quality. And uh, I'm happy for that. And uh, yeah, we will see uh, which song will win. But I guess Chanel has a big, big chance because it really has a... I also listen to the songs like uh, uh, completely, which you can do yourself too and look up in YouTube. And uh, I think that song has a big chance because it has a good bridge. The two ladies too, that were the first one. Um, also the second one, uh, it's very, it's more calm. So they can do a bit, a bit revamp after, but um, because Spain don't send a calm song, even with uh, 
Last Canto, it didn't work. So don't say that you have really have to send something energetic. So uh, I think Hiroshi has a big chance. The first one has a big chance. And the second one can have a big chance uh, because she has a big voice, a great voice. And she has a, a great charisma and a great personality. And her song is epic. So uh, it's very unique, but it's more slow. So they're going to have to revamp it and make it more fast. But otherwise, uh, I think those three songs have a lot of potential. All three of them. No, this, no, no, no. This is not good. I'm sorry, I get very emotionally involved with Spain. <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh, this uh, song, no, no good. Because it sounds like the Blas Canto song. It's too, it's too slow. Um, if Maybe if he's, he makes a revamp, then maybe. But for the selection process, it should not win because... Um, it's just not, not yeah. It's Spanish. Spain need to send this kind of song that I made a reaction to again. Uh, Ralph uh, Sanchez, uh, look my reaction. This kind of song they have to send. I really like a uh, Spanish Latin sound where people are like, okay, this Pasito version 2.0, kind of this, yes. And then yeah, then they can win. So not this, not this. <laughs> Remember, it's a competition. I I watched the video. It's beautiful if you understand Spanish. It's a beautiful song. It's a great artist, but it's just not for Eurovision. So remember that what I'm saying is nothing personal against people. Yeah, I like this one. This one has something. It's good. Whoa. Okay. Mm. You know her, I watch her uh, some of her videos and I watch this song too in, in the whole thing. And it's actually a really good song. So I I I, I think that uh, uh, this is something unique. So if they send this, I would not mind, and it could go very far. So yeah, this is a good choice too. They have a lot of. I I wouldn't know what to choose to be honest, and I'm very excited about seeing the performances next week, and sh uh, sharing them with you guys, so uh, you guys can see what it's really like because this is just small snippets. Uh, this is just a teaser for you guys to get excited. And she, in her song, she put some French and some English, which is very cool. And she has a big personality. Uh, yeah, she's basically a bit behaving like Lady Gaga, you can say, with the guitar and the hair. Uh, so yeah, I and she usually makes rock. So I find I find her. She has something uh, uh, unique that could work for Eurovision fans and for Eurovision. Uh, otherwise, um, traditional Eurovision people who are more into traditional things will not like this, I think. So there are two groups and it depends what you like. Okay. A bit 80s. This is not bad actually. Has something. This one. To be very honest, I think this one's gonna win because I saw the video too and I watched it too with my boyfriend also to have his opinion. Uh, and we both said this one is uh, with Chanel is the biggest one to have, uh, biggest has probably the biggest chance with everybody because there are also always different group of people voting with different tastes. Uh, so I think this one will please to everybody in Spain and it will have, it has a very Spanish sound and yeah, it's just a very, 
a good product. I'm thinking. It has something very unique. And I'm thinking about making a reaction to the video because the video is really cool. And yeah, I don't want to give away the the ending of the video, but yeah, it's it's a very funny video. <laughs> Maybe the song? Oh. It's, it's too bad that the teasers are so short because uh, I want to uh, share with you a bit more. But for now, it, this is all I can get. So, uh, But uh, that song is not bad. It had something too, like the other song that where I said it's a bit 80s. So um, yeah, they have a lot of 80s too. And this one is singing in English. Uh, so her name is Sarah. You love me, show me the way you want me. The okay. only one for you. Very international. All the ladies like it as well. That's nice. What is her name? I don't know. And I heard the whole song uh, because I, I, I like this song. And uh, I found the chorus was uh, very nice and uh, it was very, um, uh, again, uh, very well produced with English and Spanish and very, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit the kind of sound that could have a, uh, uh, um, how do you say that, uh, could have a big uh, effect and a big, uh, a good result in Eurovision. So if her, she wins, I would not be surprised neither. It's just there's so many songs that are good that I just don't know what I sh would choose and what the people in Spain would choose, so I don't know. So that song, uh, that song, uh, is actually not sing in Spanish. They're singing, they're singing in a dialect uh, from. Uh, uh, it's a bit like Portuguese, and uh, it's uh, called uh, what's the name? Uh, Alegria or something? I don't know exactly the details. I, I had it from a, from a friend, but I'm looking for it. From Galicia, it is from Galicia, and uh, it is the first time in a. It's very close to Portugal, and it's the first time in the Eurovision that they send um, this language. So uh, some people said this could win too because it has a very interesting sound. It's a bit like what Poland did in 2020, uh, 2019, sorry, with uh, those five ladies, which was very traditional too. It's also, some people say it reminds them a little bit of Ukraine, this kind of sound. So we had those kind of entries a lot. Even in Holland, we had uh, once, we had a uh, uh, few ladies, uh, two ladies, I think it was. And they had a song, uh, Very Folk. Uh, or name, it was Belgium or Holland, I don't remember. And we, we, don't, we did not know what they were singing. It was a kind of like language that they were inventing or... Maybe it was a kind of dialect from that they had in the past in some part of Belgium. I don't remember if it was a real language or a fake language, but I remember that song very well. And that I was like, eh? and I have I, I have the the fear that some people will have the same with this song, and also I have the fear that it will do the same like Poland. That okay, it has more beat and it's more catchy, and it's not so like the Polish song was really kind of like you know like this. Uh, but um, there are not a lot of words in this song. It's quite repetitive. So I don't think it's a good contender. And uh, also, this makes me think, if they do uh, dialect things, then why also they don't send something Basque or something Catalan or something from the other region in Spain? Because then you have uh, something very um, diverse uh, and people can like, 
yeah, uh, discover Spanish uh, dialects. So yeah, this is interesting, but I don't think it could uh, win. I don't think it will win. This sounds a little bit like a uh, cold play or a kind of sound like a uh, foot fighter, this kind of thing, you know, like uh, very like, um, yeah, they copy a bit this. Uh, this song could do well. I don't know if it will win. I think, I don't know, we will see. I, don't, I did not see any of the staging and I heard a lot of songs completely, uh, but not all of them. This one I did not hear the whole song, but for now I think, yeah, it could be, it could do well. This is very 80s. Almost like a... a I see people in the audience laughing and some of them are like this. So it's almost like a um, joke entry, I guess, but uh, reminds me a bit of Denmark last year. Uh, but yeah, 80s uh, works, but it has to be um, epic 80s. Like my reaction to Sergei Lazarev, uh, look his videos, my Christmas video, the last one I made of him, uh, those other songs I made of him, this kind of sound and the one from Czech Republic, uh, the song they sent to Eurovision. Yeah, you, when you send an 80s song, you have to. it has to be like epic modern 80s and not this kind of thing that Denmark did last year. It, it doesn't work. So Although this one, this one is, is funny and it's already better than the one from Denmark. So... <laughs> Okay! Ah, people like this. This, this, I saw the whole song to, and I personally like it because I like, I love 80 songs. And uh, this is a real modern 80 song. So, uh, if you want to send a modern 80 song, which is very popular at the moment, and which is always doing very well, uh, uh, both in the music charts and in your vision, then choose this song because you're gonna go. I think you're gonna go far with this and it's a very good song I find personally um, yeah maybe I'm the one of the few people who really likes uh, this song because I asked other people in Spain and they said yeah it's too um, how do you say they were not convinced I don't know why for some reason but me I, I like this kind of music so for me I like this song it's, it's, good. it's really 80s and it's well done. Yeah. And he has a good voice too. So I, I, I think if people want to go for something modern, they will go for his song or for the song for the from the uh, blonde lady. Uh, what's her name? Lady Key or something? The blonde lady that with the guitar that is uh, copying Lady Gaga a bit in the picture. Um, and otherwise, if they want something like Spanish, uh, Despacito, that like the Latin world is uh, loving this kind of sound, which I hear that a uh, lot of Spanish people would like to go to Eurovision and which I hear other reactors like Nunche also, they need this kind of sound, uh, a traditional sound if they want to win. So there are several opinions. Um, then they should go definitely with uh for example those two ladies sorry if i don't know the name the the first song uh or they should go with uh chanel and uh then if you want to go with something more traditional then you go either with the uh, ladies with the uh, accent from galicia uh, uh with the dialect from Gal with the language from galicia sorry and uh or you go with uh the uh, the girl, the second one, the second video, 
uh, which could do very well because she has a great voice. So you can be sure that she will have a great uh, song and a great performance. And I heard some people, some Spanish friends of mine saying that they, they like her song. So there are a lot of people in Spain. I hear they like Chanel and they like also the second song a lot. So um, yeah, we will see what uh, Spanish people will vote for. Uh, personally, I like also a lot the song from Sarah, which is sung in English uh, a little bit uh, because uh, I don't know, it just has this kind of international uh, sound that, uh, uh, yeah, the Despacito sound, that, let's just call it the Latin sound that uh, I guess that could do well. Uh, but I don't know if it would do well enough if it's like traditional Spanish enough, then Chanel uh, is a better choice, I think. Uh, Chanel or uh, those two ladies. Um, yeah, so it's all depending, because there's so much like uh, uh, different uh, songs that are great and a lot of competition, that it's all depending what people want. And um, if I was Spain, I would send something that is the most... Um, uh, yeah, traditional Spanish, uh, but in a in a in a despacito way. Let's say in a in a in, in yeah, you know the sound that uh, everybody loves. Uh, so this Latin sound. So that's what I would send because that's what they are good at. So uh, yeah, that's all I can say for now because we did not see the performances. We did not see them singing. Uh, again, I know some of the people who can sing very well. For example, with the lady with the blonde hair, it's more like a question if she can sing very well because she has a lot of autotune in her songs. Uh, and when they ask her to sing, she did not really sing. So I'm like curious if she can really sing uh, uh, good enough. At the same time, I saw at Junior Eurovision, uh, they also add a bit more uh, voices and uh, yeah, that maybe uh, people with autotune will be more... Uh, accepted so I don't know there's several possibilities um, yeah we will see I think it's next week I hope it's next week so that's something I'm very excited for let me know your opinion if you agree with what I said uh, which one is your favorite I can also respond uh, just uh, to make you guys see a bit more uh, I go to my history here and I can show you guys, uh, for example, the song of Chanel, a little part, which is this one. Pour dire, whisky et uh, which I think is one of the best songs. But also, just to share a bit, I cannot respond to the Let's song. Let's go. Yeah, I think this song can do very, very well. <laughs> also, I heard her singing in the interview. I just show you and she has a great voice too. So yeah, also this is a plus. <laughs> You know, she, you know who she reminds me of? Christina Aguilera. Especially when she sings in Spanish, because I like Aguilera, she's from uh, from Pay Basque, I think, because it's a Basque name. Um, and she sings her last two videos, she made them in Spanish. And uh, her voice really reminds me of Christina Aguilera a lot. Okay, let's just go to the bridge because uh, I would not want to spoil the whole song, but you can look at it. Okay. 
siempre estoy ready. Siempre estoy ready. Para romper cadera, rompe corazones. Oh, solo existe una. Solo existe una. Es una invitación. It, it, it's maybe the best candidate this. So yeah, especially that Babuna Hayas, it really sounds like Christina Aguilera. So that part we know. Okay. That's the bridge. Uh, I thought they added a third uh, verse, but they didn't. So maybe the only criticism could be that uh, yeah, there is no third bridge and it's a little bit maybe missing a bridge. Uh, but otherwise, it's a perfect candidate. Uh, then you have this 80s song, which I like a lot personally. But that's just personal. Maybe I'm the only one, I don't know, but I like it a lot. Sorry for the commercial, that's not uh, my fault. So, yeah, that song I like. I find it very catchy. So yeah, I think those two are my favorite songs. And then I'm going to show you the third one, because I'm showing you now, I forgot to tell you, my top three favorites, personal, and that's uh, Chanel, that's Xeyin, I don't know how to pronounce that, this one, and after, uh, you're going to see my third favorite. Yeah, that's a kind of song that I think could do very well. Especially I see a lot of uh, countries sending 80s songs. And if you make an 80s song, uh, I mean this kind of modern 80s song uh, that are very popular at the moment, uh, then yeah, this could be perfect. So personally, I hope this could uh, maybe win and they can make a nice video and a nice performance. I don't know how he sings, if he sings the same way as in the video, but if so, then I think he could be a good candidate to go to Eurovision. Very catchy. Very catchy and also very uh, singable. Sing along, sorry. So I make a lot of uh, uh, reactions to this kind of uh, sound, like Zagelazarev and uh, all this kind of... I had also a German guy uh, who made the song Uber Morgan that was a bit like this, and uh, the, the song of Czech Republic, and last year we had a lot of 80s, uh, modern 80s songs. So I love this kind of song, I really love it. And um, I just hope that uh, other people in Sp and people in Spain are, uh, like it too. I 
I find it very catchy, also especially the Nadi Nadi Komatu, and I like I like it. I really like it. It's my favorite song, one of my favorite songs uh, that I ever heard in Spain, and uh, I think it's gonna be between this one and the other two uh, in the in the end. Ah, also in Norway last year they had um, what was her name? Yeah, in Norway the the uh, the reaction I made to Norway to the Melody Grand Prix. Uh, what was the name? Well, look at my reaction to the final, Carly, and she made this eighty song like epic eighty song like the one I was talking about that I love like Sergei Lazarev and all this kind of artist that are making this kind of music, and I was like, whoa, this is really good and. This reminds me a bit of that, also. Let's go to the bridge. Okay, this is what I'm curious about the bridge, if it's good. Okay, he's going English, that's smart. I love it. I love I love the bridge. The bridge even the bridge is really good. So yeah, great song. What does this mean? Non quentro a nadi nadi nadi. Hmm, no encuentro. Ah that I met a lot of people but nothing compares to you. That part is really good too, so I don't know who made this song, but you guys are really good because you hear like a lot of like uh, different sounds uh, that are like building it up even more. And that's what I like in 80s music. I always hear like surprising sounds, you know? Yeah, so this is uh, very smart, and apparently he's doing covers too. Uh, this is that guy. Okay, just I'm not getting obsessed, but um, I'm just curious if he has a good voice. So let's check out if he has a good voice. Usually, I can hear very, very, very fast. So he's doing like Davina Michel. He has a good voice. Okay, it's, it's a bit, little bit uh, Justin Bieber sound. Uh, this is a song of Justin Bieber, so yeah. Uh, yeah, he has a great voice. So it, if he if he goes to Eurovision, he would also sing very well. So I think this is a good uh, chance for... This is a good possibility to go to Eurovision. It, it, it is 
leaves you all alone Real relationships are what I want Talking to your significant all that all night long Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah Tell me how's it feel Sitting up there Feeling so high Not too far away to hold me You know I'm the one who put you out there Guy, does it ever get lonely? Thinking you can live without me. Thinking you can live without me. Baby, I'm the one who put you up there. I don't know why. I, 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 I watch a lot of people like this who are singing uh, covers and live, like Davina Michelle. And there is this guy from Australia who's doing this. He's very, very famous. Um, I forgot his name. Connor. Connor. Yeah, uh, so he's uh, he's good. He's not as good as those people yet, uh, but he he's really good. You don't have to say just what you did. I already know. I had to come and find out from there. Yes, something. So tell um, me I think he 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 comes from R and B. He likes R and B because he has very much this R and B influence in his voice. So uh, yeah. Tell me how's it feel sitting up there, feeling so high, not too far away to hold me. You don't want the one who put you up there. We gonna be Maybe there. The sky we gonna be there. Never get alone. Oh, no. Thinking you can live without me. Thinking you can live without me. Maybe I'm the one who put you up there. Yeah. Okay. And he has even another song here, I see. I might check that out and make a reaction to that too. So he cut his hair. Because here he had a ponytail and here he's having uh, a more like uh, uh, short hair. Uh, yeah, this guy uh, seems promising, even though uh, his voice... It's not as powerful uh, as maybe, um, what's her name? One of those um, artists, uh, number, song number two, which was a bit flamenco. Um, so I'm going to show you the top 14 now. Oh, no, my third favorite, I promise you. Okay, so where is it? Ah, it's this girl I was talking about. Okay, so let's check out her song. Very curious, actually. That's a voice, like... Like as if you want a Spanish flamenco voice, which reminds me a lot of the south of Spain, where I've been. Uh, yeah, then this is perfect. <laughs> this is epic, even. And I love, I love the title, Secreta de Agua, like the secret of water. Love it. Mm. Oh, this makes me feel at home. Oh my god! What? I'm, I'm such a fan of like I, I, they put it in 4k so I think that she's um, quite famous in Spain she has a lot of uh, views also I'm gonna um, she has uh, yeah a lot of views she put this song not long ago so this is promising like if you want flamenco voice you know those uh, what is that city in South of Spain I'm sorry that Makes me sound stupid now. Um, either Mar Marbella, I went to Marbella, but there's one city the most famous for flamenco. Uh, I think it's Sevilla. Yes, it's Sevilla, I think. And you have always people that are doing this dancing and this singing. And uh, yeah, her, she reminds me really of this. It's really representing Spain, uh, this. Agua. 
She's really good. There is there is this very famous singer also in Spain uh, that um, I don't remember her her name, but she has a bit of voice like this. So yeah. <laughs> Let's just go to the chorus because I think here this video I will have to do the 30 seconds. I already said in some videos uh, in the past, if you watch my reactions, uh, which video was that that I said that? Uh, that I was like one of those people uh, that is like crazy about water. Uh, Aquafil, I think you call those people. <laughs> yeah, that's what my Latin translation would say. Because my first word that I said in my life was aqua. And I don't know why, but that's the first word that I used. Uh, so I have something with aqua and uh, this has everything that I love. It has the Spanish uh, voice, uh, like a flamenco, like this kind of sound that only Spanish singers have. And then it has the, the video that is epic and the, the lyrics that are epic. So for me, this is my favorite. I'm sorry, but this is my favorite. <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch this video like 10 times, really. Like I, I, I love the song and the video. This is gonna go on my loop. Like I'm the kind of person that watches movies and songs and videos that I like like 10 or 20 times. And that's the, gonna be the case with this one. <laughs> It's changing here which is even more epic but that even the chorus is so epic i think this is going to be the bridge but like it's very original very original <laughs> yeah this has to go <laughs> this is really my favorite by far <laughs> Oh no, that's the oh the, even the end of the song is really nice. Uh, that's what Bruce Lee said, be like water, because water always survives and it's flexible. So yeah, there is something special about water. Mm -hmm. Which also reminds me of the fact that you can make a lot really a lot of um, um, 
effects with this song. Like, for example, it makes me remind of Tusse with Emily Voices, the performance in Sweden where they were using the water. Uh, the, the, you can do a lot on the stage too. So I think Spain that you have your winner here. Yeah, this is so unique and so original that it should win. And I'm somebody that makes good predictions usually, so trust me. <laughs> yeah, this is this is epic stuff. Okay, so this is my top three. Um, I could, for example, put a top five. If I would make a top five, uh, then I would also uh, put this song. So this song is another uh, one that I would, I think it's gonna be between the girl that I just respond to. I think her, she will win. She has to win. Uh, then it's gonna be him, uh, between her and between him and between the 80s song and the first one that uh, uh, Chanel. I think those four uh, and uh, maybe uh, the two ladies with a really Spanish sound are going to be also in the top five or the song with the, uh, from Galicia. So those five, uh, six people are going to battle for the win. But in the end, I really think uh, it's going to be uh, the girl. At least that's my personal favorite and my opinion. And I hope they're going to do that. Uh, but if they send this song, also I would not mind because this song also is very catchy and it's very Spanish. And yeah, it's, it has something special too. Uh, but personally, I just love the other one. <laughs> so. Okay, now I have to respond to this also on its own because otherwise uh, heh, I don't want to make a bad review to this song because I love it. Uh, so I don't have to like force myself. But uh, yeah, that was just... A saying which is my per personal favorite so th and because i think this guy raiden is famous in uh in spain yes because he has a lot of videos so um i think him and uh luna key are the most famous so yeah i'm gonna also show you the song of luna key but this is um this is very very good And I found the video very funny, and just the song is very catchy, very original sound. It has a very original sound. Very Spanish. Al que quiere jugar con fuego pero odia quemarse A vendedores de humo que buscan claridad Al que se mete donde cubre y traga agua hasta ahogarse se... Before we start the video, I know I talk too much. I know, sorry. Uh, this guy reminds me a little bit of the guy from Italy. Uh, just the way he looks, not the song. With a monkey, you know. Uh, in 2017 it was. He has a bit that um, that look. I don't know how to explain it. Teco que pide que se moje los demás Al equidistante travestido que choca Con el discurso de que los extremos se tocan Al de las medias tintas que busca cantar victoria Pero di que media tinta escribe una buena historia Que vive del recuerdo y el presente le explota La cara le estalla por mirar su ombligo Al que pasa mal rato de ver Que te doy el mismo trato que lograste que estuviese contigo Síndrome de Lucifer que solo es hacer de cruel Porque antes con él lo habían sido Al que pide peras al lado I have to be careful though, because this song is so good. I forget the thirty seconds, but it's yeah. I think this song is gonna gonna be uh, in the battle for the win. This makes me sad because it's always with a competition that you have so many good songs that you have to choose, you know? Because this song has something so special and so good that I would be a little bit sad also if it would not at least go in the top two or the top three. Apuesta a llorar, pero no te voy a decir quién soy. A llorar a la calle de la llorería. A llorar a la calle de la llorería. Perdona la ironía, que 
So I think maybe that the fact that he's famous maybe can play also a role. Uh, I don't know if he's more famous as the other singers, but I, I think he has a little bit more famous. Uh, but he's definitely the most funny, so that will help. But it's like a junior year vision, like you have so many good... Uh, I, I, I had so, so much difficulty to choose between like France, Armenia and Poland that I was like, yeah, it's just this, this song is also so good and so Spanish that I'm like... Yeah, difficult. Al indeciso que se queda a la espera, porque hay cosas que llevan su tiempo hasta que el tiempo se lleva y cuando ya no hubo nada que perder, solo ganó el tiempo perdido. Se queja de que no hay tiempo añadido. Al valiente impresentable que quieren que hablen de lo que sea mal, al ofendido que despelleja por la red sin miramientos para que no vean su seguridad. Al buscador de caso que teme que lo olviden, a las bocas que no dicen pero siempre piden, a los críticos más duros que tienen la piel más fina. Tengo a ti peina, pero en una oreja que oiga lo que opine. <laughs> uh, it's a very funny guy also. Uh, no, but uh, tell me. Tell me what you think. I, I I just don't know me. I just don't know what what people will vote for. But I have a personal favorite. But tell me your personal favorite and tell me your opinion. <laughs> Al eterno arrepentido por todas las veces que no quiso estar Que se ve más solo que la una Porque ahora que si quiere no tiene a su lado a nadie a quien llorar Ahora no va a haber sitio Betty tierra al salir Que de ir tanta peña se ha puesto pequeña Ni donde vivir Como una magdalena Sabes por dónde voy Alguien se ha puesto a llorar Pero no te voy a decir quién soy That's the part I was talking about in the other video. He's just smiling and having fun while everybody's getting poised. <laughs> so the video in itself is just hilarious. Everybody's <laughs> and he's like, okay. And the look he has in the end is like, okay, I hope you had a good party. <laughs> so that's hilarious. Um, yeah, this guy has a, um, he has something uh, uh, original, a very good song. And also he has a good voice, uh, I think. Uh, I'm almost sure of that. So uh, this song can do very well too. Uh, let's go to the next song. Because I also heard some people saying that this song can also uh, do very well. So tell me what you think. It's very dark. You know, because if you know the, what it means, and she was singing in the interview too, that uh, she sings about a lot about like death and stuff like this. Like, okay, it's a bit dark, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Voy a morir, ok. Voy a morir, pero no quiero matarme. Hoy vas a matarme tú. Bajo mi luz, ven a verme. Cuando tú vas, yo vuelvo. Y cuando vuelves, no estoy. Puedo verte, puedo amarte. Pero sé que si me escudo, voy a matarme, voy a matarme. Ya no sé ni cuánta vida tengo. Mato la Nintendo. So be careful with the third. I think she has a copyright uh, because she has some songs I saw already. So yeah, this is very catchy and very original. And uh, I hope that, uh, yeah, she can sing because I didn't hear yet. Because like I said in the interview, she didn't want to sing. So yeah, the autotune will maybe be a problem for her. 
you know i'm always like honest guy so don't take it personal uh but that's just what uh i'm just like a bit worried about uh because this reminds me a little bit of australia uh when they had the um, what was her name uh the, she i know her she's a real woman so i i know that but in australia they had the drag queen uh although she i find she uh how do you say that in english um yeah, she's copying a bit Lady Gaga, but also a bit like drag queen people. So that's my personal opinion. Um, but uh, the one in Australia was a drag queen, Courtney. And she was going to Eurovision. And then when she was on stage, she did not sing so well. So, yeah, I, um, I have a bit the, the I'm always uh, comparing people and songs. So that makes me, reminds me a bit of that. I hope with her, she's going to sing well. Because it's a very good song and rock is very popular and it's the only rock song, so yeah. <laughs> This this song is very smart in in, in every single way. Just I don't know, it's, it's a smart producer. It's going down. Now it's going up again. Whoa. That's the French part I said. I, I forgot about that. I said how smart she was to put French in English. But like I love French and I love English too, but I love French. And uh, yeah, that's also, I find the people who made this song just super smart. Maybe it's her, maybe it's other people, I don't know. But. It's the right translation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, the bridge. Uh, I, 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 I get the message of the song. It's like, okay, I cannot live without you. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I guess the song is not about that. <laughs> I made a mistake. It's just about like, a, uh, uh, how do you say it in English? She's like, without you, I would die. So, yeah, sorry for making the wrong ass, uh, comment in the beginning. <laughs> It's very nice that she puts it in French and uh, English so people actually understand what she's singing. And I think she puts subtitles here. Spans, okay, spans. Uh, which other choice do we have? Okay, the, the, uh, automatic is. Ah, okay, you can put any kind of language you want. So yeah, let's put it in English to see if it works. Just in the end, just for you guys to see if. It works. <laughs> And you're not here. Sorry, I should have done that in the beginning of the song. But if you want to look at it again, uh, just uh, look at it uh, yourself. Because the lyrics are not the most important with this song. Uh, but the lyrics are good too, apparently. So, yeah, I should have done that, maybe. So let's just look at the lyrics. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Nacho no, 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 no. I know I'm giving two reactions now, but uh, with the subtitles, it changes everything. So it's like, I want to see the lyrics. See the second verse? Me puedes oír llorar. I, you heard a lot of autotune there. <laughs> That's what I was saying. But uh, yeah, the, the lyrics are really good and it makes me like the song even more. Ah, they did not put the right sense, ladies. She said, not she said, not she said, not she said, not she said, But what does mean Selene? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's okay. When you are with me, that's English. Ah. Okay, I, I sorry, I didn't notice that before. When you are not with me, nada es igual. It's very smart. It's like English. When you are not with me, nada es igual. Cuando estás conmigo, mi bebé, bebé. Cuando estás conmigo, mi bebé, mi bebé. Also, that part is epic. Yeah, this is just, this has something very special. I, I I cannot choose. I just worry about the voice. That's the only thing I worry about. At the same time, in this time, maybe auto tune. We'll have more uh, people who sing auto tune. Also, will have more possibilities in Eurovision. I don't know that. It's very modern, anyways. Uh, so we will see. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Nada is igual. Yeah, I love that lyric. Just nada is igual. Um, and also, she has a spider here, which freaks me out. <laughs> and uh, uh, with a woman, I guess it's uh, less painful. But you remember Dawa Bob because we, as men, we have this here. Uh, you remember Dawa Bob, the Dutch singer who went to Eurovision 2016. Slow down, but that one, you know, the country singer. Uh, he's very sexy, first of all. And second of all, he had a rose here. And like as a man, I was like, like this guy's crazy to do that because it must hurt a lot. I don't know how they make tattoos here and here. And like, uh, yeah, people with tattoos freaks me out. At the same time, I love it. Maybe one day I want it, but I'm all, I'm always afraid of like the the pain. So I'm like, the the place where it would hurt the least, I would maybe have a tattoo. Uh, because maybe, I don't know, to something like a signification. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't like the fact that it hurts. <laughs> I guess in those ancient cultures where they do it with, um, you know, like the Mayas and the, how do you call those people on those islands? Like in rugby. Uh, rugby. Rugby. Hello. 
Sebastian Chabal sponsored me. <laughs> the most famous rugby player in the world. Um, yeah, in rugby, uh, you have a lot of people in France. I did rugby for a little bit. Who come from those islands, from like Tahiti and those islands that are also French. And uh, yeah, uh, they do that uh, with tattoos. So I don't know if that hurts least or more. Because then I would prefer maybe that if it hurts less. So anyway, I did not ask the the people I was playing rugby with. Because I did not play for, for so long. Funny story. I tried rugby and then I did not understand the rules. So I was like, okay, this is not for me. <laughs> As a Dutch person, even though I look like a rugby guy. As a Dutch person, I yeah, I understand more football. And I used to play cricket, which is funny. But yeah. So, um, Sebastian Chabal sponsor me. You can put it here, right? And I'm going to... I do it so many times for Sebastian to sponsor me. It's called Au Poil, which in French means get naked. Which I know you Spanish people love, because you love the sun and the beach. And being naked. I know you have a lot of naked beaches. So that's epic. <laughs> I know, it's too hot. It's too hot. Yes. I want to put the plate on the laptop, but uh, it's not a good idea. Look, my boyfriend is so good cook. This is his Spanish part, I guess, because it's Spanish too. Uh, that he make a galette, uh, which is uh, French. It's like when you uh, cut pomme de terre. Uh, when you cut potato, then you get this. You can see this on Instagram. And he has a cooking channel, which is called Cuisine Rapide, which is also, you can see it on my Instagram, if you want to follow him. And he also made um, a sauce with uh, creme fraiche, uh, which is uh, very famous here in France, and curry with chicken. So that's an epic meal, so I'm going to eat uh, a bit when it's uh, cooled down, because it's a bit hot now. Thank you, Greg. And um, yeah, that's what I love about France. The food and the people, just like Spain. Just like in Spain, they have uh, uh, epic people, epic food, and uh, yeah, I just love everything in those countries. That's why I'm happy she sings in Fr in Spanish and in French. And uh, yeah, you guys, this is going to be my reaction. Uh, I'm forgetting one reaction, I guess, uh, that I wanted to make a top five, so I should put one more song. Uh, then if I put one more song, I would respond to those two ladies, if I can find them. Well, let's respond to those two. Let's, let's respond to Sarah first because that's actually an interesting song. I'm a mega yeah, I, I I like this song a lot too. So it's gonna be a bit longer this video, but stay with me. So it's you worth it. Me, show me the yeah, this is a good song. People gonna love this. I think a lot of people will vote for this, like especially younger people, younger girls. Uh, also, a lot of uh, yeah. I... They did a good job with this song. This one really has that like Latin sound, so this is can be a possible candidate to to. Yeah, to win or to go to, in the top five. It's very smart that she did it uh, like this. Although if I have to choose between this song and the song with the two old ladies, I think it's even more like that uh, epic Spanish sound. So, I don't know, we will see. But this has English in it, so maybe it's smarter. I don't know. Uh, th some people say traditional, some people say... So, I think traditional goes better because that's more representing your country. And as we saw in Junior Eurovision and in Eurovision, uh, that countries are doing it more and more in their own language. So, yeah, I think that's the smartest. But this song, however, is very catchy, very modern and very has a good sound. However, uh, and she's very beautiful also. However, um, 
uh, I'm worried about the 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 fact that maybe the other songs are a bit more unique and a bit more like Spanish and more powerful, while this one is more like a bit reggaeton ish. Like the Spanish part. Yeah, the Spanish part is definitely my favorite part. I like this part a lot. This Also, it's very catchy and it's very sing along. I, yeah, it's a good product. This part reminds me a lot. Mm, sorry, I'm eating. I did show you the dinner, so. Um, this part reminds me a lot of like Ace of Base, Venga Boys, you know, the 90s. Yeah, it has something. This song, I want to to listen to this song too because I did not hear it before. I'm just gonna have you guys listen to it. Yeah, this song has something. Too. So, hey, you guys. Uh, this is just to tell you that there are two parts in this video. Uh, not only are there two parts, um, but also, uh, yeah, so you can watch it in two different parts because they're a bit longer because I wanted to make and the reaction to the artist and the reaction to some of their uh, videos, to some of their music. So that's why it's longer. So you promise, uh, promise me you will not regret it uh because uh i i make epic reactions and you get to discover new artists so i'm sure you will not regret it um tu vas pas le regretter et après um euh ça c'est tout je voulais juste dire que ce vidéo c'est en deux parts et que j'ai fait des réactions sur les artistes mais aussi sur leurs chansons et uh, quelques artistes j'ai fait une ou deux chansons les autres artistes j'ai fait uh, just a uh, petit chanson ou un petit réaction. Donc, uh, c'est pour ça le vidéo un petit peu plus long, mais uh, ça vaut le coup, vraiment, parce que uh, il est très rigolo. J'ai des réactions très rigolo, surtout sur Postuero et sur la femme uh, 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 avec les musiques dans les 80 aussi. Donc, uh, tu vas pas le regarder, vraiment pas. Donc, uh, c'est pour ça il est plus long et il est en deux pas. Et c'est tout pour moi. Et je voulais juste ajouter ça. Et Merry Christmas et Feliz Navidad.